hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of python so in a last uh, video tutorial we have seen about uh, uh, how to select the individual columns of uh, data frame object or how to select individual rows and how to select multiple or a group of rows or a group of column or even a cell level selecting how to do inside this data frame object we have seen so for that we use the this titanic data set and we have read this uh, whole data set inside this data frame object now in this tutorial uh, after going through individual uh, selecting individual rows or in columns we are going to select the individual column based on the condition in this tutorial so let's see uh, how that uh, conditioning is working on the top of individual column to selecting the subgroup of the data so uh, let's first uh, display some data with the help of head function so it will show first five records now uh, if you observe among all those uh, features of individual uh, record let's take this fare fare is nothing but uh, how much uh, amount you have spent for the ticket for individual passenger on a titanic boat so uh, suppose we want to uh, find all those uh, passenger whose fare is greater than 10 so it is something like uh, same in a sql query the way we are writing on a top of this table something like a select uh, some of the column uh, from table where the conditional we apply based on individual columns so in our case this columns is fair it is nothing but the features of individual passenger so suppose we want to find the fair uh, all those passengers whose fare is greater than 10 now let's see how we can apply this condition on this data frame object so inside the data frame only we'll apply this greater than 10 uh, condition so we want to apply this greater than 10 condition on the top of fare object so we'll apply df fair greater than 10 so as an argument to df we'll supply this part that show me all record which satisfy this condition and this condition is nothing but show me all record which is whose record means the individual passenger whose ticket fare is greater than 10 so let's see what it will give okay so uh, we got some of the records so it has displayed all those uh, record which is having a fare is greater than 10 suppose we want all those record which is having a rec uh, fare is less than 10 so might be very few records that's why it has displayed almost all might be or very high number of records i think yeah it's a 336 total rows which is nothing but it signifies the total 336 record which is having a ticket fare less than 10 so it's all about uh, how you apply the less than or greater than kind of uh, conditioning now uh, let's see how that equality uh, will work so suppose we want to uh, find that how many uh, p class passenger which is having a value one so p class is nothing but the individual class has been given to individual uh, records individual passengers so passenger zero has been uh, sit, uh, seated inside this uh, class three passenger one in a class one so suppose we want to find all those passenger whose p class who traveled by the classes which is equal to one so we will apply this condition p class is equal to 1 okay so it has listed all those record which is having a whose pass which passenger has traveled in this titanic boat with a p class is equal to 1 now it's all about less than greater than and we have applied all everything into numeric data now let's try to apply something on a string uh, related object so suppose uh, let's take uh, this age or uh, sex sex is female or a uh, male so suppose we want to find all those uh, uh, female records only so we'll apply this condition inside the brackets of 
it is df object so df where the sex is equal to female okay so it has listed all those record for the female candidate female passenger so there are total 314 females were there inside the titanic data set over uh, now if we suppose want to negate we want all those record which is male or either which is not female so let's see how we can do it we'll apply this negate with this explanation mark and we'll apply the same condition which we apply earlier so it will negate the whole condition some typos okay it's uh, not explanation mark it's a tilde actually for the negative purpose okay so it has displayed all those male passenger so there are total 577 male passengers are there so uh, that's all for this lecture uh, in summary we have seen that uh, in this lecture we have seen how you can select based on the condition which is equivalent to the where condition inside this sql query language the same you can apply on this data frame object and this kind of analysis will be very helpful while analyzing the data to predict that what kind of further analysis you require for what kind of further machine learning algorithm or any other uh, kind of algorithm you want to apply to extract some more useful and meaningful knowledge it will be helpful for uh, analyze that whether some features are useful or some feature may not be uh, e even useful also so that's it for this lecture i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it